As we've said in previous videos here on eFlix Energy, we're interested in every area of the sector, even going so far as to look at things like plumbing. Now this is a great product that I'm absolutely fascinated by because it kind of solves a problem that I didn't really know existed, but makes perfect sense. When you're in the shower normally, you've got water coming out of the shower head at about 40 degrees C. Obviously that passes over you, past you, and goes down the drain and really is pretty much at the same temperature, about 40 degrees C. That then just goes up into the drain and is completely wasted all of that heat energy. So what this device here from Zypho does is it actually recoups that heat loss. So as the water goes down the drain, it passes down this waste pipe and disappears off down towards the drain as you'd hope normally. But the cold feed to the shower comes into this part here and goes through this pipe that's wrapped around that waste pipe. That water passing through there then absorbs the heat energy that's still inside the waste pipe and then when it comes out of here, it's a little bit warmer than it went in. So it goes in at about 10 degrees C and it comes out here at about 23 degrees C having recouped much of the heat that's still inside that waste pipe. That then comes up here and goes back into the cold feed into your shower. So what that means then is that you're actually putting warmer water into the cold side of the shower, which means that you never really have to turn it up so much that you're drawing lots and lots of hot water from here. So what that means is that your entire shower system immediately becomes much more effective than it would have been. Now you're probably thinking about the amount of space that this is going to take up under your shower tray, but of course that's been well thought through. The height of this unit is 90 millimetres high, so it's designed to fit under most shower systems. And also it comes with this drain, which has an inbuilt filter system as well to keep all the nasty stuff from going down the drain. However, with the kind of expansion towards lower profile shower trays, which a lot of people are preferring nowadays, there's also a shallower version of this just on the verge of coming out as well. And by the time you see this may well be available. Now the one that we were just looking at under the shower tray there will recover about a third of the heat loss from your shower. The one that's behind me here is designed to be used in a two-storey house where you've got the shower upstairs and obviously the drain comes down through some boxing through a drain pipe there. And this one will recover up to two-thirds of the energy lost in your shower, which is obviously a huge saving. One of the real benefits for this is it's going to help you to comply with requirements in Part L of the building regulations, which was all about the energy efficiency of the building. And actually, these devices represent some of the cheapest pound-for-pound -pound SAT points that you can possibly get. So something for you building designers and building services engineers to think about on that one. Now, obviously, as an electrician, I've got a real bias towards electric showers, and I was kind of mulling this one over to myself, wondering if this would have any advantage being connected to an electric shower. And it turns out the answer is that it would in a couple of ways. Number one, you think about in the winter time in an electric shower, you control the temperature by the flow rate of the water through the heating element. You don't actually turn the heat up and down. You don't change the amount of electricity running through the heater. So in the winter, when this is running, what it's going to do is it's going to give you a nicer shower experience because you're going to be able to maintain the flow rate and still have a nice shower. The other way that it could potentially help is if you're thinking of installing perhaps a 10 and a half kilowatt shower, then perhaps you can install one that has a lower power rating in order to help you out in that way. Now I'm perfectly willing to admit that when I first saw this as a concept, I was a little bit cynical. I was wondering just how much heat this would help to recover. But of course, we come to realize that actually the solution to reducing your energy uses in, in your property is not just about one big idea. It's about combining <laughs> lots and lots of small ideas. And in reality, I can't understand why this has never been done before. This is such a good idea. It's like one of those really simple concepts like the roll plug. I wish I'd invented the roll plug because now I'd be a very rich man. I wish that I'd thought about this because this is such a good, simple idea and surely it's something that we're going to be seeing installed a lot more in properties in the future.